like I say, I told all my people and told everyone that if they gave me 10 years or 100 years of their life or, you know, some amount of time of their life, that I would show them that I was right and that I was their true leader. And I said, like I say, I didn't have to kill German scientists. I didn't have to torture or imprison anyone. I just had to tell them who I was. And then there was more than enough money to do whatever I wanted and do whatever needed to be done. Build a city in, 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 in Mexico, reform Russia, and even build America and Colombia. The White Star Alliance Company had more than enough power and money, basically, and more than enough production capability. I had lots of production capability in both Ireland and in, in Germany. And basically, I promised everyone their freedom, and I promised everyone that they would have a good life if they followed me, and simply did what they were paid to do. You know, basically, I enticed them with, with basically clothes, food, and a, and a warm bed to sleep on, basically. Like I said, I invented ways to, 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 to cook or cure massive amounts of bricks. We were, we were, we were making over like a million bricks or 100,000 bricks a day or something like that from red clay. You know, we, we had massive amounts of production capability and more than enough ways of building whatever things. And I had scientists working on newer and better ways of building cities and towns and water systems every single day. I said, I was encouraging experimentation and I was paying inventors um, money as well as praising inventors, basically. Anyone that invented something or came up with some crackpot idea or whatever, I wanted it written down and basically even a working model built. So yes, there was lots of silly research. And, and besides, you know, there's nothing wrong with a little bit of silly time. There's nothing wrong. Like I said, the, the, the White Star Alliance company could easily lose money, money every day, you know, to silly ideas like, <laughs> like the, like the combing and toothbrush machine. <laughs> I mean, I didn't mind. And people got money, you know, you know, you know, money for, for an idea or an invention, even if it's a silly one, at least, <laughs> at least we'll make the kids laugh, you know? So, and stuff like the windman bands and stuff like that. Like, like I tried to, um, I encouraged the jerps, the, the gypsies, and I'm sure the gypsies had an effect on me and that, you know, carnival, happiness, good, good drink and good food. And, um, you know, I was trying to encourage family and togetherness and, and equal, equal rights. And basically, you know, that we're all in this together. You know, I was trying to, I was trying to, I was trying to break down the barriers between Germany and all the countries, so we could all move as one, basically. And for a time, I believe we did. So anyway, under Lucifer White Star or whatever, whatever band they may run, that they may fly. So anyway, for you know, like I, I promised them, I promised my people, I gave them hope. I said there will be more than enough money. There will be more than enough food. There will be more than enough more than enough cars. If we all work together, you know, we can set up these factories. We can set up this thing, and you will see a new and better life. And I wasn't wrong, was I? I mean, yes, there were wars. Yes, there was this. Yes, there was that. But I told people that they didn't need to fight over resources. There's more than enough for everyone. They just had to work together. Mass production and invention and factories that would run 24 hours a day would solve everything. Anyway, and computers. And I said computers, at some point in time in my existence, in my childhood life, I was wondering about how I was going to pull this off, how I was going to bring this together. And I thought of computers. And I said computers are the only way mass production, and basically computers would lighten the load on everyone and make it easier so we could all find a new way of basically, you know, automation and also computers and stuff like that. So anyway, like I say, I was right. You know, so anyway, like I say, too, I could bring to the table stonemasons from 
everyone from from the Middle East to the um, to Germany to to Ireland to Scotland. I could unite the whole world population in a way for which no one else could, because I was Lucifer White Star, and I did, and my ships did. So it wasn't about war. Anyway. And also protecting women and children. And I also saw that that the future was in the children. That that we needed to show them a new way of, of living, a happy way. With love and warmth, warm fires, presence, happy moments in their life. And I even tried to for this, I even tried to have my to, to, to tell my people that basically life may not be happy. So we should cherish and basically try and promote every happy moment we can. So basically traveling and also presence at Christmas, spending time with the family for when for later on when you can't spend time with the family. Cherish each and every moment. So things like that. And like I say, I guess my words got out there. So anyway, and like I say, also, you know, better working conditions. You know, I just kept on adding things. I just kept on thinking th thinking of things and kept on analyzing it and critiquing basically the world until I was happy with basically what it was. You know, thinking of automation and basically like robots. Well, and theoretically, if we can get something to be able to know where the spray nozzle is, you know, then we can paint cars all day and other things. So, like I said, that's the difference between me and JFK and Nixon, Trumpy, and everyone else. Belfast, Scotland, all around the world. Even Korea. So, anyway, yeah. And free soda. <laughs> There's a lot of things. So, anyway. <clears throat> and drugs, too. And plus, also, you know, I had drugs. You know, cocaine, methamphetamine, ecstasy, and all that other stuff. And I also liked music a lot, too. Organs. And I also believe that music was a key to lighten the mood. I foresaw that, or I felt that that music was a way to to really, like, you know, bring people together and basically get them to feel and, uh, you know, change their mood. Anyway, I felt that I was right, or at least more right than anyone else. And so, anyway, I'm not sure how much got through, and I'm not sure how much got to you people, but basically that was my attitude. So anyway, and also taking a look at the 1950s and 1940s, and basically like the, the happy times, the over-smiling wives. You know, I looked at it and I was like, that's not living. Like, that's denying your true inner desires and your true feelings. Like, I know how people, they want to touch each other. They want to snuggle. They want to get to know each other. At least a lot of them do. They want to talk. They want to have common ground. You know, they want to feel like everyone around them is a friend. So, anyway, so like, like, like I was trying to tell some people, I was trying to, I was trying to say, this is not, you're denying your, your, your true insides. You know, you are, you know, you are sexual creatures at heart, basically, and stuff like that. You do have emotions. Like, to deny them is basically a bad idea. You need to learn how to understand them and to be with them, basically. Anyway, I don't know, maybe I was wrong, maybe I was crazy. But I felt that um, trying to hide who you are was no way of actually living. That you need to basically accept who you are and learn how to, you know, whatever. Anyway, I'm not sure if I was right or if I was just wrong or if I was steering my people astray. But basically that's pretty much how I felt. And other things. And acceptance and understanding, basically. Anyway, though, yes, these are all my crackpot ideas, basically. I am Lucifer White Star, owner and operator of the Titanic and other ships. 
and I found myself in an epic battle between me and other people that would control my government. And basically, like I said, at times all I had was basically my shipping fleet. The Titanic, the Leviathan, the Lusitania, my ship captains that still remembered who I was. You know, and my different shipyards. And my test pilots, who seemed to remember me as well. So, anyway though, I don't really know, it got all messy and confusing and complicated. But like I said, I am the one who named your country. I am the one who invented the president system and your laws and courts and police officers and public education system. So, anyway, and past that, I knew when to let go and when to let people who understood about science and technology take the lead. So, anyway, like I tried to tell other people, it's best not to micromanage manage people. It's best to trust them and let them fly. You know, if they can. So, anyway, whatever. Lots of ideas and basically lots of basically, you know, other things and basically being whatever. And, you know, and then things got all complicated as Rodney and other people were like... <laughs> <laughs> Hit me like a ton of bricks. So, anyway. Like I said, a lot of people realized it was just technology and it was just science. And basically we're like, oh, bye! <laughs> anyway, so, well, whatever. Uh, forever I'll, I will always know that I was right, and at least I had my ships and my aircraft. And I know the truth inside. 